Okay guys, on 4th of September 2022. Now this is our plant of common prickly pear or it is also called as uh, prickly tuna cactus or you can say uh, Opuntia tuna monstrosa. Okay, now you can see that there are a lot a lot of offshoots and uh, pairs or branches. Okay, so now we will we have our forceps, so we will try to break its uh, branch. Okay, or stem cutting. You can say so we can. Okay, we, we, we can we can use our what's called a the razor or blade, okay? Or we can even use our scissor if you want. Okay. So now even scissor is not working, I think, because uh, there are a lot of branches which can make uh, our movements difficult, okay? So now we will we will uh, we will go for our razor that is surgical razor so they are very sharp now you can see that although it is a little bit rusty but still okay for plants okay now you can see that i am just uh, cutting it out uh, you can break it with anything okay like knife or some like any other sharp thing okay so so you can break it out they are the hardiest plant on the uh, planet earth so you're not supposed to worry okay now we have uh, taken our first cutting okay okay now we have placed it out now we will go for our second cutting and uh, this cutting is a little bit small but still okay okay now i'm here to cut it out okay now now it's good okay now we will go for our third cutting and this is super sharp razor okay it is so much sharp that it is even dangerous to touch it with bare hands okay now we have got our third cutting so we will go for our next cutting and okay now uh, we can hold it with forcep and we can uh, break it off with the help of razor okay we can cut it down okay now we have taken our fourth one fourth cutting okay Now this one is our fifth cutting. And uh, you can uh, use any other sharp thing. But one more thing that you must know that you have to place these cuttings for at least four to five days or even for up to seven days so that uh, their wounds become healed okay because when we used to cut them off there is certain wound okay and it needs to be healed up first okay and then we can place it in our media okay because if you will place uh, directly uh, in the media uh, it can start rotting okay it can start rotting okay so now first uh, okay now this is and we will we will because it is flexible so a lot of difficulty in taking this cutting okay now we have taken one more okay now this is our next cutting we can cut it out with the help of our very sharp razor surgical one okay this thing okay we have taken it out now Okay. The voice is recorded after like uh, 
after the video has been made so so it is not uh, like we, we can't say that it is uh, the runtime uh, already okay now one more cutting okay so with so much cuttings we can like make some like uh, 22 25 more plants okay and usually the accuracy rate of these cuttings uh, is about 99 to 100 percent okay uh, yeah because uh, they, they can survive because they can survive in very harsh conditions okay like very dry and hard conditions so uh, but they do not use to like a lot a lot of moisture in the uh, media okay uh, these are desert plants so but still some uh, some cactuses can even survive in very damp okay in very damp environment okay even in tropical regions okay uh, euphorbias uh, because uh, last time i used to go to malaysia and i see a lot a lot of euphorbia cactuses there okay so now on 9th of september 2022 that is after five days now our cuttings are healed up okay and uh, you can see that they are totally callus tower callus tower means that that their uh, wounds are now having a a little protecting layer which is called as the callus it is a semi permeable type uh, protective covering which used to protect the plant from fungal rot now this our media which consists of 50 percent simple garden soil and 50 percent sand okay the sand that is used in the construction in india and pakistan okay so now we have taken a lot of glasses disposable glasses now we will make first our media and then we will fill up these glasses with the media okay now we need to uh, fairly uh, mix the uh, garden soil with this and why we are doing uh, this thing because you must know that simple soil or garden soil has a greater tendency to retain the moisture while construction sand is very good and a better uh, like it is uh, very uh, good in draining the water okay so one is used to hold the moisture and one is used to lose the moisture uh, a bit fast okay so that is why in order to make a media which uh, uh, which can like partially can store the moisture and then partially uh, drain it out so we we have to mix both of these components in equal proportion okay cactus do not uh, need a lot a lot of fertilizers okay so no need to worry about the compost some people even trying to like uh, growing these cactuses in compost and uh, like uh, other media expensive media but i do not use to like uh, uh, okay i do not use to uh, follow these procedures okay so it is better to use this simple and cheap media okay so now we are filling our pots that are simple glasses simple disposable glasses so now we will fill this up with our media so now you can see that our we have filled out our third glass okay now this is fourth one now we, we are just going to fill it out okay and and, and one more thing that you must have to uh, like make certain holes five to six small holes okay uh, in the bottom of these glasses so that all the extra water will get removed from the glass because if the water used to stand inside the glass 
are pot, uh, there is a higher tendency uh, of cactus rotting, okay? So it is better not to use it like that, okay? Okay, now this is our this is our media. Okay, now. Fill all of these glasses so that we can place our cactuses. Okay. And uh, you, one more interesting fact that uh, in cactuses, due to scarcity of water uh, in the desert area, the leaves used to be very thin and, and uh, like due to evolution, they uh, have the they gone under the process so that the leaves becomes thorn okay why it is so because thorn has very very less surface area okay they are very thin they have very less surface area so they do not use to uh, the water do not use to evaporate from these thorns okay and it seems that that uh, there may be uh like uh, that the water uh, loss is very very less in these thorns okay uh, they are mainly like designed uh, by nature for to retain the moisture inside their thick stem okay now we are going to water it out okay we are watering our media okay now you can see that how much good drainage they have that when we used to pour the water the water used to the water used to seep out from below okay its drainage is good okay so the water used to come from the bottom holes okay so Okay, now due to addition of sand, I got, and and you 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 must have a forcep, okay? Because if you are dealing with the cactus, at least you must have uh, one forcep so that you can you can put them in the soil, okay? Directly pull them out, okay? First I will make some hole, okay, like this, and then I will put it out in the hole, okay? Okay, like this. Okay, now. And after some time it used to make certain roots okay so so no need to worry about their uh, it is September and in September they used to grow as well okay in September and October they used to grow a little bit okay but the major growth is in the like uh, june july and august in full summer months okay so now you can see that we are just placing our cactuses okay now uh, do not use to bury it a lot okay just just uh, two to three or four five four centimeter is okay okay so there is a lot a lot of chance okay of uh, rotting if there is a lot of if, if you used to pour a lot of water in these pores, then there may be certain chance of rotting, but 
but uh, best practice is to okay keep uh, first let it dry at least the first upper layer must be dry in order to uh, water it again okay so now our six uh, of the stems are placed and now we will place our seventh cuttings okay now our seventh cutting is placed okay now we have to wait for maybe like two months or one month in order to see a little bit of progress in root side and root and in shooting side so okay on uh, 15th of on 15th of january 2023 okay that is after like uh, two to three months i think yes from september october november december oh, it's uh, more than three months okay although we we can't see any sort of like uh, huge progress uh because its growing rate is a little bit but still there there is some growth as well okay although it is not so much satisfactory but still it's okay okay in three to four months uh we can uh just see okay now now on uh, routing side uh, we will search okay now we will take our cutting out so that we can see either there is some uh, growth on the rooting side as well so now okay now let me take my tool so that I will uh, bring forcep and then we will be able to take them out okay okay now we will take our plant out with the help of forcep because there are very small little like thorns okay so in order to so in our, okay now you can see that there are there is one very good result okay you can see tape and fibrous roots as well so now we will go for to take the second one yes now it's also having certain roots although the roots are a little bit small but still okay okay so now we will take uh, our plant third third plant out okay now this one okay, now okay now you can see that uh, we have uh, got three of our cuttings with certain results and results are a bit satisfactory on the rooting side okay on shooting side there there is some growth as well okay so now in this way you can see that uh, how much uh, slow it is the growth process so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe